The Honda Fit Shuttle has been one of the most practical yet uh, economical wagons in the Kenyan market space today. From 2012, it was received uh, very well in the Kenyan market space. And now, uh, fast forward to 2015, we have an all new looking Honda Fit Shuttle. And this time round, the new shape, as we call it in Kenya, is not known as the Honda Fit Shuttle. It is known as the Honda Shuttle. Uh, Honda took out the Fit nameplate on it, but it's still based on the Honda uh, Fit. So uh, we were privileged to review this car, the Honda Fit Shuttle, before, uh, during our earlier reviews of conversations. And so we are going to be telling you what is the difference between the previous generation or first generation Honda Fit Shuttle and the second generation Honda Shuttle. Because conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. I'll be your host, uh, the conversologist Eric Wokabi, Eric with a CK, uh, taking you through an up close and candid review of uh, this car do follow me at a personal level eric okabi on facebook twitter and instagram we also value your feedback you ask that we bring this car and compare it to the older uh, fit shuttle and we have done just that so do share your sentiments on other cars you want to see on conversations conversations on facebook twitter and instagram and now up close and candid with the 2016 honda shuttle Before we indulge into the new shuttle, uh, let's talk about what Conversation is doing as extra. Remember, there are some of you who love reviews, Zazile Magari, Zakitambo, older cars, and uh, we have those reviews on Conversation's row. So the link to that channel is on the description, and they are very interesting cars. And tonight at 8 p.m., we are going to still have another redriven car coming up on Conversation's row. So do remember to subscribe. Also, we are having this review courtesy of uh, Caplicity Motors along Kiambu Road. So if you want to buy a Honda Shuttle or any other car, contact David or Kevin from uh, Caplicity. Look out for them on Instagram and Facebook as well. And uh, they are going to give you good discounts if you tell them you have been referred to by the Canvasologist himself. Mbugua, give them a trailer of what to expect tonight on Conversations Row. You know, people say music is healing, but to automotive enthusiasts, uh, automotive purists, nothing sounds better like the sound from a powerful and good engine that is emitted through a very nice, nicely packaged exhaust pipe to give you music that would be better than that of an Australian opera uh, performance. <laughs> Again. My friend, we must tell them when we must take them back to the time when cars were cars. Cars ah, these days, you know, they are making sense mm -hmm. to me a number. <laughs> Trash cans. Trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> Now, up close and candid with the Fit Shuttle. The biggest difference between this and the older uh, Fit Shuttle is the looks. Now, from 2015, Honda implemented the H-Design philosophy on the Shuttle. So, it is still the same uh, Shuttle, but with a new look. Eh? So, that is difference number one, the looks. You know, the previous generation Shuttle was not a very good-looking vehicle. It uh, lacked the elegance and aggressive and stylish beat. It was just a practical economical wagon that uh, looked kind of like a big honda fit but now fast forward to 2014 we got honda's h design philosophy on uh, the shuttle and now it's not only the face i can okay you have to attest that this car looks better it looks better than the previous generation uh, shuttle and also it looks 
so much like the Jade, like the Grace, and even like the 2014-2015 Honda Fit. Why? Because of the implementation of Honda's H-Design philosophy that brings forth a stylish, aggressive look in an economical car. Talking about economical, this uh, Honda Fit Shuttle comes in two configurations. Number one is the hybrid configuration and number two is the non-hybrid configuration. Even the previous generation shuttle did come with hybrid and non-hybrid configuration, but uh, this one is more economical and it's even more fun to drive. Why? It is because of the major difference that is difference number two, and that is what powers up the shuttle from 2015. Let's take a look and see what's under the hood. And I'm going to tell you something. There is also a big change when it comes to the transmission on this vehicle. The previous generation Honda Fit Shuttle had a 1300cc engine and a 1500cc option for the non-hybrid. So the hybrids mostly got a 1300cc engine. On the second generation Shuttle, there are two engine options and both are 1.5 litre. One is for hybrid applications and the second one is for non-hybrid applications. So the one for non-hybrid application is 1500cc L15B. But the one for hybrid applications is still 1500cc, but it's called 1.5 LEB. So non-hybrid is L15B, for the hybrid is 1.5 LEB. So th those are the codes to differentiate these engines. What about the power output? Now, if you're buying a Honda Shuttle, the best option would be the non-hybrid. And, uh, well, if you want to push fuel economy to the limit you get the hybrid one but remember we always talk about the hybrid challenge which is imminent but we believe with the coming of more and more hybrid cars uh, these hyb these uh, batteries are going to become cheaper and also the expertise to maintain hybrid cars is also going to you know become cheaper and more common now the other thing you have to notice about these two engines irrespective of the fact that they are 1500cc, one of them is more powerful compared to the other one. So if you buy the Honda Shuttle, the one, the hybrid one, it's more powerful compared to the non-hybrid one. So this one uh, can churn out around uh, 135 horsepower, which is very impressive and it makes this car very fun to drive. But the non-hybrid one can only push up to around 130 horsepower. So the difference is not so big. In fact, it's only about five horsepower but the hybrid one is more fun to drive why because there is also a difference in the gearbox remember the previous generation uh, honda fit shuttle uh, had a cvt gearbox for both hybrid and non-hybrid applications but for this one you get the cvt in the non-hybrid kindly note that so if you buy the non-hybrid you're getting a very reliable and very simple to to service uh, cvt transmission but when you buy the hybrid just like on the grace and on the jed you get uh, honda's uh, hybrid sport dual clutch drive it's basically a dual clutch transmission that makes driving hybrids more fun you know hybrids have always been known to be boring cars but honda has gone a step higher to make hybrids you know better handling cars and even cars that will thrill you when you're driving them so i hope you have noted the two differences when it comes to transmission let's go to cost of maintenance maintaining hondas is very 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 easy because this car shares a lot of parts with the honda grace the honda fit and now uh, the shuttle so it's a cross-platform vehicle so meaning parts are not necessarily a problem for the one that is an hybrid, well, it's even easier because you do not have to worry about the integrated motor assist or the hybrid drivetrain. But as I said, we hope as time goes by, we are going to the, the hybrid components are going to be cheaper and they are also going, you know, we are going to have technical support more easily because we cannot help but shift with time. Because even if you go to the market right now, the non-hybrid Honda shuttles, non-hybrid Honda Jets, or even non-hybrid Honda grace they are not as many in fact they are dwindling in terms of numbers so we must we cannot help by but make the hybrid shift and we hope as these cars continue kenyans are going also to open their eyes into maintaining these cars better so hondas are basically very easy cars to drive and when it comes to reliability of the honda uh, hybrid drivetrain one thing is for sure 
Honda developed some of the best and most reliable hybrid drivetrains in the world today. So you do not have to have so much, you know, worry or fear if you are driving a Honda hybrid. Other manufacturers might have hybrids that are not very reliable, but Honda have perfected the art of uh, hybrid drivetrains and specifically parallel hybrids. Eh? And some, some people ask, what is the difference between the hybrid drivetrain in the inside and this now the one the inside cannot you know move independently uh on hybrid mode or on ev mode but this one can below speeds of 20 kilometers per hour it uses the electric motor to move so that is one significant dif difference between those two cars so this one actually has full ev mode hybrid mode and power mode but uh, the inside only has you know it's an integrated uh, kind of uh, yeah, it's, it's a hybrid drivetrain different from this one and with the, with the inside you can, even if the hybrid drivetrain fails, you can always try and modify an, an uh, alternator on it. But this one, if it fails, it might not get you to where you want to go. The shuttle still has the long wheelbase, but from afar, you can tell that it has some design cues from uh, its smaller sibling, the Honda Fit. But, uh, you know, it's still a comfortable car. It still retains the practicality in it because the shuttle was meant to be an economical wagon. But from 2015, it's not only economical, it's even restyled. It looks better. The old one had looks only a mother could love. And you can note that the hybrid ones still have side skirts. The, the non-hybrid ones are not as styled as the hybrid ones. I, I don't know why, but you can, the verdict is the shuttle looks good, especially from 2015. Uh, Honda's H design philosophy on the rear as well. You can tell that these uh, lights uh, really do resemble those of the Honda Grace and also a bit like the Honda Jade. So that is courtesy of Honda's design philosophy. In terms of luggage space, the shuttle has not lost a luggage space. It's still practical as it was. So if you're thinking about buying an economical, easy to maintain and, and you know, not very expensive wagon, the shuttle is the answer. Because even if you run a small business, it has enough space to carry your merchandise or your wear or uh, your stuff and still has ample leg room and comfort for your family. In terms of ground clearance, when you buy most of these cars, you'll have to use aftermarket coil springs to increase the clearance, but it can be able to maneuver the Kenyan roads more easily. Now let's see how the shuttle looks in the inside and uh, try to differentiate it with the siblings and also with the older first generation uh, fit shuttle. And remember, this one is not the Fit Shuttle from 2015, it is the Honda Shuttle. And that is why you only have the Shuttle badge and not the Fit Shuttle. You know, the older one had Fit Shuttle, but now this one is an independent model that is based on the Honda Fit and it's called the Honda Shuttle. Let's take a look at what it has to offer inside. The shuttle is more or less like the Honda Fit. In fact, you will have to have a very keen eye to notice some of the differences in the cluster and also on the orientation. But the steering wheel, paddle shifts, and even the general outlook, uh, it's like that of, you know, the Fit or the Grace because they are all based on the same vehicle. The hybrid Hondas have this trendy gear lever and you might have seen them on all the Honda hybrids that we have reviewed on this channel and they look very, very futuristic. It's still the same old spacious vehicle. So in terms of space, you have it. Uh, in fact, that is undisputed. We'll hear what the boys have to say about this car. This particular one does not have cloth interior. It has semi leather, but you can get it in uh, cloth or fabric, uh, semi-leather, and even full leather. Yeah, there are some Honda shuttle variants, like the Hybrid Z, that have full leather and other very fancy features. So it's still the same old. It, it's, it's a shuttle. It's more of a modern shuttle. It looks very Honda and, 
it has Honda technology. And now these paddle shifts, they are actual real paddle shifts. They are not like the ones on modern day Subarus or uh, modern day Toyotas uh, or even <laughs> these modern day, uh, what, what do you call these cars, Nissans that run on CVTs. These ones are actual paddle shifts because this car runs on a dual clutch uh, automatic gearbox. These, the hybrid ones do not have a CVT but the non-hybrid ones most of them will lack the paddle shifts because they have a CVT transmission and they'll also have a lower grade and if they feature the paddle shifts if you get them from Singapore they might have them but remember these the paddle shifts are just to simulate you driving a fun car to drive so that is why they are there but generally one thing I'll tell guys if you're driving the Honda Jade the Honda Shuttle the Honda Fit the Honda Grace these cars they are very fun to drive even the hybrid ones they are agile they are fun and they have some crazy acceleration so these are cars you're going to have fun driving so the Hondas have stopped being boring to being some of the economical yet fun to drive vehicles allow us to experience that as we take this car for a drive with the boys <music> Welcome guys to yet another conversations review with the boys. Na leo tuko na a sister. We know we, we, we reviewed the Grace. Yes. The Jade. Yes. The which are the, the, the Honda Fit. Yes. So the inside, the inside as well. So it's it, 2023 ni mwaka wa Honda. Ah, Honda man. Honda. 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 Yeah, na this week we are to condani a Honda. But now this is the new generation Honda, and you know, but it's very unfortunate yes. that this whole family, the Jade, the Shuttle, the Grace, all of them were discontinued. Ah, why are they discontinuing good cars? Nice cars. Uh, well, I think it's business. It's business, eh? It's business, man. It's business. Ah, but we can't be saying the least, Maze. This car looks good. I think if guys watch the review of the Honda Grace, there is a lot that is going on that is similar to that. Actually, yeah. everything. Yes. Almost everything. Yeah. The only thing I could not different look up is the gear lever, which looks very futuristic. Ni kama utukondani ya ndege pale. Yes, ila ya captain ya kushika take off. Yeah, my friend. Yeah. 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 Ya mtali. Ya Away from that. Yeah. It's plastic. Eh? So yeah. everything we said on the other video, I Kila think for kitu. me it applies the and same. And Kawaida Honda, the huge plastic panel. Yes. Pale mele. yes. So if you own a Honda, yeah. you need to invest in dashboard spray. Yes. Because those plastics, they don't break, yeah. but they don't look very nice. Yeah. But a lot has been inherited by the new Honda Shuttle from yes. the sisters or yes. brothers. Yes. Some of them being the agility when it comes to driving. That, that, that one I noticed. And one thing I love woke up about the current breed of Hondas is the blend of you know the looks and the performance. And economy and the plus economy, performance. My friend. And just, just I see to pick a to zero to hundred. Zero to hundred. Yeah. And you know now this one. Yes. It features Honda's uh, dual clutch drive. Intelligent ah, dual clutch drive. Same one in the Honda Grace. Yes. Perfect. It's it's their their sporty transmission for hybrids. Wow. It's a very specious car. Buko na ezo ambia. Uko nyuma kuaje? Yeah. Uko 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 nyuma. Lenta sema nyuma. Yeah. Ama uko US. First of all, I love the 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 mix of the cloth interior, the semi leather. Yes. Uh -huh. They feel quite a bit of. Okay, we usually say leather doesn't mean luxury, but. That is me who says. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ibrahim might think other. Ah, it, it feels premium, my friend. Okay. That is the word. It feels premium. Yes. To be honest. Legroom, it's okay for me, but for a really tall person, let's say not to me. Me, use me. Say, six two. Six two I think I'll be comfortable. Hey, six two, we are good. Now, if I am tall and I can fit there, okay. It is good to say that it is a perfect car. Something else I want to add is the boot space. Yes. It's very. It has a very very. There is something that Mbugu and I uh, experienced yes. that I would like to bring to this channel. Yes. When you were reviewing the older Hi. Honda Shuttle, there was so much body roll. Yes. My friend. You 
right. You would not. Eh, yeah. hey, that that one, boy. You know that time we were filming differently. So yes. it was only me and Bugwa in that vehicle hey. alone. Yes. Hey, <laughs> my brother. My brother. Oh, my brother. Let me hey. tell you, my brother. I, 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 I. It was slow. It is slow. It was it's slow unstable. Level. But now, at least it has become a very agile vehicle. And I'm sure. What are your predictions for zero to one hundred? The grace did in. In uh, 13 seconds. 13 or 12. Just 13. 13, 13 for a hybrid. Eh? Yes. Uh, what do you reckon? I I'm think this one will, will be faster. We'll do the same. No, I reckon no. this one will be around 13 or slightly more. Because same engine, same drivetrain, but this one is heavier. Yeah. So okay. For me, I think it, for me, I think it will do. It will, it will be an under 13. My, my, my bet is yes. it will either retain. Yes. Uh, it might be, it might retain. Yes. And have the same performance, mm -hmm. or go a little bit faster. Faster, yes. not, not faster. A slower. little bit slower. Okay. Take, 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 take position. Take position. Do we do it. Yes. We are about 130 horsepower. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, 135 mm -hmm. because the 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 five are from the hybrid integrated motor assist. Yes. So do we do we. So if we launch this one, yes, because of the dual clutch, yes. it will be. Me, I'm ready for you. You're ready. Take it when you you want. So we are in EV mode. Yes. Let's go to power. Uh, uh, Pedal to the metal. Now there nonsense has stopped. <laughs> nonsense has stopped. <laughs> hey, there nonsense are a hundred. There you go. <laughs> ah, you are right. You are right. Uh -huh. <laughs> This <laughs> is a bit heavier compared to, yeah, to yes, the yes. But one thing yes. we notice with the grace yes. when you're driving this car, Ukanyaki, yes. there's a point in Africa on a skier, the IMA yes. kicks in. And that is where the nonsense stops. Yes. In fact, you know the, the, the Fit Shuttle hybrid, the, yes. the previous generation, yes. were very lazy. Yes. The hybrid ones were extremely lazy. But this new era of hybrids, bro, it's nice. Quite impressive. Overtaking it. Easy. It will be very easy. Very easy. Instant and, talk. Uh, yes. Yeah. And I can feel it's nimble, it's subtle, it's you know, it sits on the road well. So you, very well. You're confident when you're taking corners with this car. And that's one thing that I think hugely has been improved from the previous generation. Exactly. Because the previous one Buena. Hey one. Hey. <laughs> How much does this one goes for? This one is going for around 1.5. One point five. What do we say? Five. So same, same as the Honda Grace. Same as the Honda Grace. So this one, uh, instead of the getting the grace, I would rather get the shuttle. Yes. It's more spacious. It can. It's a versatile car as a fayana or biashara. Definitely. Definitely. You get almost 30 kilometers to a liter. Exactly. Exactly. On the hybrid. Exactly. Um, so, but but really, the hybrid question is still valid. Definitely. definitely. So, personally, if I would get a Honda Shuttle, I would Zikiwa Mingi. Then, yes. a hybrid is always the, the better option. Yes. But Zikiwa Mingi, these hybrid drivetrains, we believe, will be cheaper. Definitely. Sindio? Yes. So, do we go straight to the team score? Yes, let's go to the team, team score. score. Bubwa. For me, I have nothing to take out of this car. It's a nine for me. The only thing I'm not giving it a 10 is because you can't score 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. because of the hybrid battery. If it was a 9 hybrid, maybe I would have gambled for it. But as Okabe says, Honda has the best hybrid systems. At least they're trying to make the hybrid at least more sustainable, unlike the other, uh, the other, the other companies. The other manufacturers. The other yes. manufacturers. So for me, it's a 9. The fuel economy is great for me. The space, as Okabe is saying, people of the house. People of house and we are so bish. We are sure for this yes. having a filter that is technically bigger. Bigger. Mm. <laughs> what, 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 one thing that you guys need to agree, uh -huh. and you need to call your people to a meeting, <laughs> that since the filter people are not sleeping at night, this will be the best alternative. Uh, but see, if we buy this one, they are going to steal this one. <laughs> <laughs> And so the really, funny thing, these yes. cars are only stolen from people from our, our region. You're right. Have you ever... Hey, Chichu Jamaza, you're a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I think fantastic for me. I think Okabe will give it a 9.5. 9.5. Uh, yeah. The reason why it will only lose the five, it's the 0.5, is because of the hybrid question. Uh -huh. That is the only thing that I feel for what this car has to offer. That's the only takeaway that I'll give on this car. But away from that, everything else sits in. It offers value for money. What this car offers in terms of up and down practicality, it's fantastic. The fuel economy, it's fantastic. Reliability, Honda Sai. You always say that Honda and Toyota are at but for me, I'm thinking in fact, Honda, Honda, Honda is Sai in terms of reliability could be, they could be ahead. Yes, they, they could be, even if it's a skidogo, but they're they're slightly could ahead. Be ahead yeah. So for me, Okab is a 9.5, and I rest my case. For me, I'll give this car a 9.3. Yes. This one is uh, the hybrid question. The hybrid. The hybrid question um and you see until we are able to solve this question in kenya remember in kenya we are a third world country being forced to solve first world problems, problems. yes yeah so that's a 9.3 plus a 9.5 that is an 18.8 mm -hmm. plus a 9 from bugua that's a 27.8 mm -hmm. bugua is a 9 or 9.5 9 bugua is a 9 bugua, bugua, is... bugua gave 9 Oh, Kabi has given point three. I've never even had such a. <laughs> <laughs> so that's twenty seven point eight. Twenty seven point eight. Hey, Perfecto. Good. We round it off. It's a twenty eight. To do it, where value for money, Jay? Value, value, value for money. talk about value for money when it comes to the Honda Shuttle. This car, if you're buying it from Capricity, you will probably be spending around 1.55 million Kenya shillings. And that is a good price tag con comparing uh, with other cars like the Toyota Fielder that would compete with this vehicle that are priced higher. Also, the Mazda Axela is not really a competitor, but uh, the Mazda Axela will shine in terms of looks, but if you're looking for space and fuel economy, the hybrid uh, shuttle can push as much as 30 kilometers to the liter. What about the non-hybrid? The non-hybrid can push around 20 kilometers to the liter. But we normally say if your car can go past 15 kilometers to the liter, it is a car that you can live with. So the hybrid question normally is there what happens when the hybrid drivetrain fails you is the cost benefit analysis does it match but i've said again and again in this review that if you're buying the hybrid shuttle uh, just know that uh, there is a chance at some point the battery will fail but we hope by the time it's failing uh, the we will have you know, the batteries will have uh, been stocked up in Kenya and they'll be cheaper. Because right now, the biggest challenge with the hybrid is the cost that is involved in replacing the hybrid drivetrain or the hybrid batteries and other hybrid components. But if they are cheaper, then the Honda Shuttle is the way to go, the hybrid one. But for now, even if you get the non-hybrid, and they are more, surprisingly, the non-hybrid Shuttle is more expensive compared to the hybrid one because of its reliability. The non-hybrid one is a vehicle that you will not worry about anything. It's a car that will serve you diligently, very easy to maintain, and you do not have to be worried about a myriad of electrical issues. So if you're buying, personally, I would prefer the non-hybrid, but if you have to go hybrid, just do a cost-benefit analysis because it's equally good, but the hybrid question will still be there, especially, remember, we are in Kenya and we are a third world country. And uh, I hope that maintaining hybrids and replacing batteries will be cheaper because if it is uh, affordable and if it's, it's closer even to the people who are outside Nairobi, then buying the hybrids will be the in thing and they might even become more expensive than the non-hybrid options. But for now, the non-hybrid still does win and that's why it's more expensive. But these two will work, especially if you don't use your vehicle heavily. The, non, the hybrid one will also serve you diligently, as long as it's a Honda with a reliable IMA hybrid drivetrain. I've been your host, the Canvasologist himself, Eric Wokabi. Uh, you can follow me at a personal level on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and also TikTok. And uh, remember, you can also follow Conversations and tell us which other cars do you want to see on the Conversations Wednesday segment. And don't forget to check out Conversations Row and see uh, reviews of the retrieval 
cars as well. If you want to do something about production of this content, uh, there is a link there, a tiny pesa. Whatever you offer will go a long way in uh, the cost involved in bringing you this content. So, so over and out, see you 8 p.m. Leo Siku to Pilot Conversations Row, and uh, also on Sunday as we bring you Conversations Kanisa.